Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Mercedes Winter Camper Conversion Series. Today we're going to be taking you up to the NEC Motorhome Show in Birmingham. This is the first camper fan and motorhome show of 2019. So we're going to take you up, show you around some of the stalls, some of the new things, some of the new products that are coming out on the motorhome and caravan market and also show you around some of the cool products that we'll be buying to put into our motorhome. So let's take you along and show you the good things that are up there. We saw these when we were first in Australia, quite a few 4x4s had these on the roofs, really cool idea, obviously just a roof box which then turns into a sleeping quarters, this one's got hanging accessories down underneath as well, for storage, then you've got your ladder going up in there. Very cool idea. So this is the inside. So this one, nice bed. Nice bit of space in here as well. Nice support. Really like these little camping pods as well. It's just a trailer unit with a door. And then you've got a bed. You've got everything you need inside. Got all your 12 volt systems in here, cupboards, and then your bed area. So, if you just want something small, compact, you want to tow behind your car. And this one's also got a nice awning that comes out the side of it as well. So, you've got a nice bit of outdoor space that you can sit on. A roof light in the top. A nice covering on the outside. Very cool little unit, just a, if you want to go away camping for the weekend. Nice thick chunky tyres on here as well, so looks like you can take it off road if you need to. Another very cool one here, slightly smaller one again, an orange, it's really cool. A spare wheel and roof racks on the top of this one. This one doesn't have the awning on it, but again that's really cool. This is another thing that we were looking at when we were looking at showers for the van. So these are road showers, just a water tank just here which you sit on the mount on the roof. The water inside then gets heated by the sun and then you have a, a pump to get the pressure up inside and then you have your shower hose on here. Nice bit of pressure in there as well. You can use it for showers, very cool idea. Very, very cool. We're really liking some of the decals on the side of vans. This one's a really cool one. A bit of a map of Europe. If anyone knows where we can get some of these decals made, if they know any companies around the UK, appreciate it if you'd leave some comments below just so we can look into get something like this for the side of the van, just so it doesn't look so bland on the outside. But yeah, we really like I mean, something like this on the side of the van would be really cool. Quite a cool feature on the top of here, just above the slide door. A nice LED strip light. So it just gives you a nice bit of light when you open the door in the dark. And also, this one's got a slide out step down here as well. I'm guessing this is electric. It slides out to allow you to step up in the van. Fiat Ducato is a 
another popular van that companies convert. Slightly square in shape than the Sprinter. It does give you a little bit more headroom and a little bit wider body. This one's got the nice swivel seats in it. We'll be doing a similar thing in ours. Just gives you that extra bit of sort of seating. It's also got a nice light just here, providing that bit of outside light when you need it. And again, this one's got the electric step, so you can do that just here. And then it pops out from underneath the van, just in front of these steps just here. So this van's got a really neat fly screen on it, so you can have your door open. And then it's got this nice neat fly screen that you can just slide backwards and forwards. We're building something similar into our van, obviously we've got a bit more of a bigger opening. But this is ideally what you really need for in those evenings. You don't want any mosquitoes or anything like that coming into the van, but you still want to have the door open so you get that nice breeze coming in. This is really cool. Got all the control panels up here on this one. Obviously the all important smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. This one here has got a bed that comes down from the roof hydraulically operated bed with a nice big seating area in here during the day and then you can bring the bed down nice little kitchen units just here and then this one does have a full width shower and bathroom area at the back really nice area in here that you can have your shower and we've always got the roof light above the shower as well, so it's a really nice space in here. So something we're going to be installing in the bed area. Nice little angle poise light. So you can have a reading light as well. So we'll be looking out for some of these. Hopefully try and pick some of these up in the show so we can connect them up. This one's also got the timber style shower door on it. We're looking to do in ours. So you can slide it shut. Doesn't need a sort of a pull-out door. Just have the timbre effect. And then when you stood inside, it's fully watertight. Because if you look on the back of the door here, all of the slats just go together. So when it's closed, you get a nice watertight fit. So this is the style of door that we'll be putting on our conversion. Um, much prefer this to the pull-out door. It just gives you that bit of extra space to work with as well. We've seen on our VW Transporter setup, we've got an awning that goes on the outside of the van at the moment. It's really handy to give you that extra bit of space, outdoor space. Also keeps you during those rainy times, means you can still sit outside and have that little bit of extra living space. One that we've got is currently a pole base system, but a lot of the newer awnings now, all this blow up set up where well, there's no poles it's literally just a pump to blow up all of the supports and then the awning comes out so something potentially that we are looking at putting onto the van this one this one particular here goes onto the side of a caravan that they do do ones that go onto the side of motorhomes sprinters and ducatos so this is a really nice folds up relatively small as well it can be stored in the garage and then just taken out and the poles are blown up when you want to connect it up so it's another really cool idea lots of different designs different shapes for these I'll show you a few more so here's a slightly bigger one again can connect on this one's actually a, going on to a T5 here as well. So as you can see, it gives you a nice, nice bit of extra room on here. You have a nice seating area outside if you set up for a little bit of a longer period of time. Nice open space in here. You have a table and chairs. You can sit out here and eat. So here we are with the awnings again, just showing you how the pump works. Just connect it into the bottom of the frame and then you just blow it up. This one here is a just showing you how the poles work. So you just get these air poles and then you have the covering on here as well. 
so you can sit in. It's also got the cross stability bars here as well, just to stop them from moving around. Obviously, it's uh, these are still air, but they're just giving you that bit of extra support, but also allowing the, the air to go through to the different poles. You'd have to, you only have to blow up in one place, and it inflates the whole awning. Can you scare me, Mark? Here's how the pole system itself works. You have isolation valves, so if you get a puncture in one, your whole awning doesn't go down. Another alternative to a full awning, something like this, which is a cassette awning, fixes to the side of the van and then slides out to give you a cover then can put these side panels on it to make it into an awning if you don't want to you don't have to it just gives you that again a bit of extra shade in the sun also if you want to protect from the rain you can put these side bits in it is something that we're looking at putting on the side of ours but we don't think we can have enough clearance between the door and the roof bars but if we can work out a way of getting one on then we're definitely going to have a look at it because it's a really useful thing more for sunshade um, rather than protecting from the rain and then again you can put LED strip lights underneath like they have done here which is a really cool lots of different makes of this so this is Thule there's also Fiamma do one and a couple of other brands as well various different lengths that you can have on the side of your van but yeah very cool idea so this is the Fiamma cassette awnings I showed you the Thule ones earlier just a slightly different style from Fiamma. Slightly smaller cassette, but works in exactly the same way. Slides out, gives you that nice shade area as well. Different idea on this one here. If you need to sleep more than two people in the back, this one's got almost bunk style beds in here. So you've got the beds at the top. And it's got some netting on the opposite side just to stop you falling out. And it's got the lower bed just down here as well. Obviously, downfall to that is you do lose quite a bit of garage space. But again, depending on what you want to store in here, what you're taking away with you, you need to have four people. This is a great idea. And obviously, these are fixed width beds, so you can unfold this one as well by the looks of it. So you can fold it away so you can still get your seating area down at the bottom when you're using it during the day. This one's also got the roof light in the back. Something that we're going to be doing is adding a second roof light into the back of our van just to give you that airflow through. So we're we'll buying a second Max Air fan to go in the back. And we found one with quite a cool light unit that can go underneath as well, which we'll show you. You can see the top of this van has got quite a lot of roof lights. This is actually a caravan. And this is a motorhome. It's got various different roof lights, obviously, one for the shower area. A lot of these don't have fans in, they're just roof lights. Relatively big one here at the front which you can open up. Just provides that nice bit of light and ventilation into the van. This one here I guess is in the shower area. So you don't have to get water coming in. The only downside with these ones obviously compared to the Max Air is that if it rains you're going to get quite a bit of water down inside the van so that's what we really like, the Max Air fan. But if you remember to close them when it rains, then obviously these let a lot more natural air in, get that airflow across inside the van. One of the most popular stands again is Airstream. Some lovely looking vans here. Really, really special. Really nice interiors. We saw last time, very, very cool, very busy standard as well. This one's also got the pull out awning on the top, so you can slide this awning out and get your outdoor space as well. And it's got the support down on the side of the van just to keep it secure in those winds, but yeah, very, very cool. A novel idea on this VW. The kitchen unit swings out so that you can stand outside the van, do your cooking, and then when you're done, swing it back in. So it's a 
a nice day van unit. This one's also got twin slide doors so you can walk all the way through the van. This is quite a cool, giving you that, that bit of extra space to be able to work outside. It's even handy if you've got the awning on the side of the van as well so you can stand in the awning and do your cooking. It's a very novel idea that you can swing it in and out and use it as you need to. This one's also got the pop top and they've got a bike rack and a canoe on the top as well. It's a nice adventure van you can take away and use for a week, long weekend away somewhere. So that's it, we're now heading back home from the Motorhome and Caravan Show here in the NEC. Quite a bit we've seen today um, was the same as when we came up here last time. So obviously it's only been a few months between the two shows. So we're now gonna head home. But we asked a couple of questions on a few of the items that we're looking at, including the fridge and the cooker. One of them being the cooktop on the cooker that we're looking at. All the ones that we've seen have the stainless steel uh, grill top we want the cast iron version so we've just asked them to clarify a few details on that for us so hopefully they'll get back to us in the next couple of days and we'll be able to start buying different things the also the fridge that we've been looking at we haven't been able to find anywhere online yet um, and after speaking to somebody on the stand uh, it's not actually due out for next another couple of weeks so hopefully we'll be able to buy that and then we can start getting that fitted in the van so that's it for this week thank you very much for tuning in again if you haven't already done so remember to hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful remember to give us a great thumbs up and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon bye